Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video series, I'm gonna show you how to take two foals that have never been trained before and turn them into reliable, safe, willing partners. So both of these foals are gonna go through 10 days of training and you're gonna watch all the different steps. So whether you've trained horses before or you've never trained them, hopefully this helps you to work with your foal. So this little foal here is called Nugget. Uh, he's pretty short and chunky, but he is a, how old is he now? Maybe like seven, eight months. Seven, eight months. So he's about seven, eight months, and we're just gonna start to work with him and slowly uh, see what we can do to get the rope around his neck. I'm gonna, uh, I have a quick release rope here so that it doesn't choke him. But the theory is just to get up to him and hopefully be able to work with him and start to get him tamer and tamer. So I'm just following him around and kind of trying to uh, see how he, how he is, what, what's he like, what is his reaction to me just kind of being here. Okay, so you can obviously see he's pretty disrespectful from the beginning. Okay, so right off the bat, I can tell that, that I'm not going to be able to get close to him because he's, he's kicking at me, he's jumping at me. This is going to be the quickest way to get, get a hold of him and get control of him here. So, let's see. I'm just going to slowly apply pressure here. And pull and release. Pull and release. Pull and release. Pull and release. Pull and release, pull and release, pull. So if you'll stand still and just think about what we're doing here, that's good. So I might just see if I can slowly reach up to him here. Good boy, and then retreat away from him. Advance up to him, and before he retreats, I retreat. And this is just building trust and building his confidence that we're not just out here to hurt him. Okay, so he moves away, that's okay. We just go back to pulling on his, his neck. Good boy. He's licking his lips, that's a great sign. What I'm noticing is he's, he's relaxing a little bit more. I can just loosen that rope around his neck a little bit. He's starting to realize that I'm an actual part of his life that he has to pay attention to and not just react, react, react. There, he's sniffing me again. That's good. So he's starting to relax next to me. Now, the reason that I roped him is this step right here to get up to him and touch him would take potentially five or six days just to do that if I didn't rope him. Now I'm going to start to just desensitize him to the rope. This is going to be something that is going to be a little safer than my hand touching him. And he's going to react to it like most horses do. He's going to be a little scared because the ropes are pretty scary for little horses. Okay, but just slowly working with him Getting him to realize that the rope's not going to hurt him. Okay, keeping his nose facing me. There's the rope touching him. Did a little spin around there, that was cute. Okay, as much as I can, trying to keep him facing me. And if he's fighting it, that's not the best, but that is going to happen. Okay, here. Just slowly letting the rope bump into him. I'm not trying to scare him with it. I'm not whacking him with it or something. Just gently letting the rope touch him. And he's gonna realize it doesn't hurt him. This is really good here. Good boy. So then I'll just let him relax. Let him think about it. Let him lick his lips. There we go.
But every time he turns away and every time I pull him back, it's just reminding him who's in charge. So it's not a bad thing that he's doing it a lot. Okay, pull him back, say hey, face me. Okay, hey, face me. This is why we don't have a halter on him, because if we did have a halter on him, he'd be even worse with the, uh, the jumping around. Ouch. Okay, well, this is interesting. This is interesting because we're working on leading. We're working on a lot of different things and we're doing uh, the first steps here. This is a lot of different things are being worked on here. Okay, so this is better. He's standing still. He's being very brave right now. Good boy. So now I'll take it away. Let him have a little think about it. Let him lick his lips. The thing about training foals that's really cool is when you train them something or you teach them something when they're little, when they get older, they don't forget it. So if he learns to not be afraid of ropes right now, then he's not going to be afraid of them when he gets older. So it's going to be much easier. At this point, I want to go ahead and use the stick to touch all the different parts of his body so we can just get him used to that. and. Now that I have him respecting the rope a little bit better around his neck. So I'm just going to start to rub him with the stick and start to get him desensitized all over his body. See he's a little ticklish there. In here is going to be ticklish as well. The belly, the elbow. This is pretty good though. He's doing well. He's nice and tired too. That helps. Just touching him everywhere where I don't want to put my hands right now because it wouldn't be safe. This is really good. Get him nice and used to everything being touched. Up on his ears. The, if you teach a foal to not be scared of his ears being touched, it's going to be much better than trying to teach him when they're really tall, even though I don't think he's going to be very tall. There, he's licking his lips. It's a good sign. So even though he's moving his, his head away from me, he's not moving his feet away from me. He's staying still and he's relaxing. So this is good. This is really good progress. So keeping him facing towards me here, I'm going to just desensitize him to the halter going over his back. So just like we did with the rope a minute ago, We're going to use this halter to just desensitize him. So I'm going to just swing it over his back, let it bump into him. This is good. Let it swing around his neck there. And then one of these times I'm going to actually catch it. So I'm going to put my hand right here, get ready to catch it, and then catch it. Okay, so now I've got a hold of him with the halter. And I can slowly uh, halter him here. So let's just get his nose in here. That's good. And just tighten this up here. And then we're good to go. So I can go ahead and clip this one on him. And that's going to allow me to take off the neck rope. And this is going to be a very different feeling for him. You got to be very considerate of the little horse because they've never had anything restraining their face. So I'm just going to start to introduce him to the halter pressure by having him uh, step over his front end. So he's going to get off balanced just like that. There we go. And turn and face me. So then I'm going to come over here and pull him towards me like this and have him turn and face me. That's very good. Good boy. <laughs> He's trying to be as tall as possible. So I'm just starting to teach him how to lead. 
but this is more about him learning how to deal with the pressure of the halter. Um, and he's already f starting to follow me a little bit and it's all just good things to work with him. And off balancing him to the side is very important because if you try to pull him forward from, from in front of him, he's not gonna work. It's very important that you off balance him from the side, okay? This is very good. So, again, stroking him on the neck is teaching him that it's okay for me to come up to him. It's okay for me to be close to him. He's licking his lips. He's relaxing. This is really, really good. Okay, so I don't want to pull him so hard that he, that he gets scared, but I want to keep hold of him, keep him facing towards me more or less. Okay. Okay, pull him. There we go. Pull him and release. So as soon as he looks towards me, I release. Okay, so this is, this is all part of it, guys. This is a very normal reaction for foals. They get pretty, pretty stressed and jump around a lot and things. So it's nothing to be worried about. We just go straight back to the exercise. Notice how now he's licking his lips and he's chilled out. But don't get stressed if your foal has a crazy reaction like that because they do. They, they like to jump and flip and roll over and everything. Not too bad, eh? Not as scary as you're acting like it is. Is it, buddy? So guys, this is a really good uh, little test to do to just see if you can catch your foal after you've worked with him. Um, because obviously when we first caught him, it was pretty hard and you know he was, he was running away from us. But now you can see we've built a little bit of trust with him and it's quite easy to walk up to him and catch him. So that's a really good thing because that means that tomorrow when we come back to work with him, he's at least gonna have a good foundation and he's gonna remember uh, that he's supposed to stand still, he's supposed to face us, we're not a really scary threat to him. So for his first day that's pretty good, we got him used to pressure uh, and got him used to looking at us and, and being close to us with his front end instead of his hind end. So from here I want to go ahead and end this session but uh, we're just going to build on what we did today. Yeah guys, thanks so much for watching, we'll see you in the next video.